1997, the best-selling car in the US was an electric vehicle, often marketed at women. Now, electric car brands are powered by testosterone. Hold on a minute. Did we hear that right? Dodge is making an electric car? We're talking hypothetical, right? You mean the Dodge that created the Hellcat Red Eye and the most powerful muscle car in the world? Why on God's green earth would Dodge ever build an electric car? I'm saving the planet, but not in a girly way. <laughs> For an electric car ad, that had a lot of emissions. <laughs> Sunita, are blokes scared to buy electric? So, some people, when they think of the muscle car buyer, think of men with SPS, which is small package syndrome. <laughs> so, performance anxiety is probably a very real scare and concern. Now, the truth is, in nine years, every car brand will be an electric car brand. So there's probably a ton of men and women, particularly in America, who are either loyal to or have built brands like Dodge on power and, you know, grunt and steel and performance and muscle, who are starting to go, oh, hang on a minute, how do we now build our purpose when there's performance anxiety, which is the biggest at the heart of cynicism around buying an electric vehicle? Performance anxiety, will it only last for three minutes, right? Dodge has to find a way to build a bridge between performance and why they're now electric. And that's what's kind of exciting about that ad because you'll see a whole lot of automotive advertisers experiment with how to do non-formulaic car porn ads for the first time in years. Yeah, and I think they've done it. I mean, whether you like the execution or not, strategically, it's sound. So they know their customer, hyper-masculine, uh, they're into yep. performance, it's an ego purchase, not an ethical choice. If they had to choose between the environment and performance, they will choose performance. Yeah. So don't let them choose. Don't make them choose. No. You, you, you work your positioning that this electric car becomes a, a want, you know, a, a really good car, rather than a need, which is to save the world. And whenever brands focus on sus bigger societal issues like that, it has a medicinal feel. It's like something you need, but you're not going to like the taste of it. And I think that they've said, all right, never mind that. I'm just, we're going to focus on the performance that we have. So they're trying to keep that masculinity of their car brand and wrap it and stick it around an electric vehicle. But let's I mean, be practical. Yeah. You cannot have a car called the 840 horsepower Demon or the Hellcat Red Eye mm. and back it into a Save the Planet positioning. Yeah. Yeah. It has to stand for performance.